soon as somebody shows you this, you go, oh my gosh, you know, we can use this tool to help our staff be energized in the workplace. You're going to retain people if you understand how to use the Acumax in the daily lives. Like you saw, they literally, our Acumax is part of our name badge. Every Tuesday I meet with my directors. We pulled up Andrew's team. How do we best communicate with Leah? Okay, Andrew is a real face-to-face -face communicator, but his entire team is a head-down communicator. He's looking at bringing a face to face. What kind of dynamics is that going to do to his team? How do you best meet with them? How do you give them information? And when they're frustrated, the first thing we do is pull up the Acumax. I, I can really look at this enough to feed into what they, what they need. And I can say, I'm going to support you. I'm gonna make sure that you feel comfortable with your communication style, that we're gonna get you to be part of this team. You want procedures, you want to know what's expected of you. You don't want 20 unfinished tasks because that's gonna de-energize you. So we're feeding into the person. Um, when we have conflicts in the workplace, the first thing we say is, let's look at the Acumax. And by the way, I've never done an interview that somebody doesn't go, oh my gosh, like, do I have to answer any questions? It seems like you thing about me. I'm like, all we know is how to best help you in the workplace, be successful and energized. And, and they love that. We use this just to remind ourselves that that's just the way they talk about it. And we often in our communication around here, when somebody does something, we go, oh, task communicator, social communicator. And we actually use this to eliminate conflict in the workplace. Let's really talk about how to work with your team. I had a new BCBA and she's like, I'm struggling with this BCBA. I brought her in, we went through um, the, the other BCBA's profile. I said, this is how you need to communicate. This is what you need to do in almost instant result. Every six months, if the department is a strong department, we have them retake it. And then we look and it's really fun is you will see their adjusted self, um, literally like identical. So then we continue to say, okay, we need to make sure that when we're hiring people that we look at people who would match that. So we don't just go what we think the job should be, like our front desk. I really thought they would need to be low C's because they have lots of things going on. But every time we've reassessed them, they all are high C's. You just need to make sure you're, you've got a few lead people who understand it, that really can continue to work with it as the directors, as your head leaders.